An excerpt narration from the book Glow, God's Light Outspoken Through the Words of Venerable Aloysius Schwartz, A Father's Note Prayer God comforts us all in all our afflictions, says St. Paul. In all our daily difficulties and afflictions, God, our loving, compassionate Father, comforts us, consoles us, gives us strength, joy, happiness, and He does this only if we pray. Come to me, says Jesus, all you who labor and are heavily burdened, I will refresh you. In prayer, we go to Jesus, we are burdened, we labor each day, and He refreshes us. He restores our strength. He renews our spirit. By prayer, our life takes on new meaning. It has an added spiritual dimension. Without prayer, our life is meaningless. The object of our prayer is to forget about the howling wind. These are all the distractions that occur in our daily activity and the waves crashing about us, all these difficulties, the things which call for our attention and get out of our boat, out of ourselves, and simply looking at Jesus with our attention, totally focused on Him and advance towards Him. Try to develop these three forms of prayer, adoration, of the Holy Eucharist, the Rosary, and the meditative reading of the lives of the saints. When you have a free moment, sacrifice your time and go to Jesus in the Eucharist and offer it to Him. Say the Rosary and say it with fervor, with love. Love to read about the saints, to meditate on their lives. We must pray as Jesus prayed. How do we pray as Jesus prayed? What is this prayer of Jesus? The prayer of Jesus has three characteristics, humility, fervor, and perseverance. To pray as Jesus means to pray with humility, to pray as a beggar asking a rich man for alms, as a child asking a father for a gift, as a sick man asking a doctor for treatment and medicine. Another characteristic of the prayer of Jesus is fervor and zeal. We must pray energetically, zealously, and fervently. The first commandment is this. You shall love the Lord your God. How? With all your mind, all your heart, all your will, and all your strength. It is not enough to come and pray with 90% of our strength, mind, will, and effort. It should be 100%. All. Prayer is fundamental to the spiritual life. Prayer is the oxygen of the soul. If the body lacks oxygen, it becomes weak, it becomes dizzy, and eventually it dies. So it is, if the soul does not pray, it becomes weak, dizzy, exhausted, and it eventually dies. We are destined to be eagles. We are created to fly, to rise above. One who does not pray will always live like a duck. He will live on the earth, in the mud, and in the muck. He will never experience this great joy of rising above and discovering this beautiful world of God in the heavens. Jesus says, Pray always and never grow weary. Take care and pray constantly. So Jesus tells us 
not to pray just eight hours or six hours or three hours or one hour or twenty minutes, but always, constantly. This is what Jesus did in the gospel. I and the Father are one, he says. He was always absorbed in prayer. There are two types of prayer, formal or high-intensity prayer, and the informal or low-intensity prayer. This formal, high-intensity prayer requires concentration, attention, and effort. There is a certain tension and a stress involved. This is meditation, adoration of the Eucharist, spiritual reading, the rosary, and stations of the cross. It is obvious that we cannot offer this type of prayer constantly and always. We do not have the time and it requires too much effort and strength. There is another type of prayer, informal, low intensity, which requires little effort. It is very light, easy, and refreshing. It is simply looking at Jesus with love, calling His name lightly, easily, with love, thinking of Him easily, lightly, with love, remembering His words in a sense, touching Him feeling His presence easily, lightly, with love. The thought of God arises from our hearts. We are delighted to think of Him, to call the name of Jesus, and to remember His words. This gives us a certain spiritual glow, a certain spiritual radiance, which really changes and transforms our lives. So. This is what we should try to do. We practice formal prayer. Yes, but also informal prayer.